आई एम एकनाथ पाटिल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन के आई कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एटोनॉमस कोल्हापुर इन वायरलेस मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन मोबाइल रेडियो प्रोपिकेशन विल टेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट इट एंड टूडेज मॉडल इन दिस वीडियो विल सी द फ्री स्पेस प्रोपोकेशन मॉडल so in case of the free space propagation module as we know that the free uh, uh, formula is one of the basic thing uh, for the uh, free space propagation module uh, in case of the free formula what uh, is the uh, communication system taken into consideration is uh, transmitter transmitting antenna then distance between the transmitting and receiving antenna then receiving antenna and a receiver these are the different uh, we can say part of the systems taken into consideration the predict the receiver signal strength when transmitter and receiver have clear unobstructed line of sight path between them so in case of the satellite communication microwave um, uh, line of sight uh, system uh, this thing happens and uh, we are going to calculate the power received at the uh, trans uh, receiver only so received power decays as a function of transmitter and the receiver separation free space power received by the receiver antenna is given by the uh, uh, free uh, free free uh, space equation and that uh, that equation uh, basically is um as written pr that is received power pr divided by pt or uh, pr is equal to pt gt gr lambda square divided by 4 pi square into d square into l what are these particular different uh, we can say terminologies of this uh, equation gt gr are the uh, gain of the transmitting and receiving antenna respectively pt is the uh, power of the transmitting uh, antenna then pr is the received power by receiving antenna d is the separation between transmitting and receiving um, uh, antennas lambda is the wavelength in meters l is the uh, loss factor and not related to the propagation uh, l is equal to 1 indicates no loss in the system um, okay so uh, this is about the this particular uh, so in this particular uh, equation we are calcul we are uh, 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 ready to calculate we are um, able to calculate the received power and it is pt gt gr lambda square divided by 4 pi square d square into l so gain of the antenna that is gt and gr are the transmitting antenna and receiving antenna gains respectively so uh, it, it is related to the aperture of the antenna and uh, g can be always write as 4 pi ae divided by lambda square where ae is the uh, physical size or the physical uh, effective aperture of the uh, antenna a is the effective aperture of the antenna in case of the parabolic disc it is uh, same as the uh, physical aperture only it is related to the uh, carrier frequency also lambda is equal to c by f and 2 by c uh, omega c where f is the uh, frequency in hertz c is the speed of light in meters and omega c is carrier frequency in uh, radians per second so uh, as we know that gain of the antenna is depends on the effective aperture of the antenna and equation gives us the information about relation between the gain of antenna and the aperture of the antenna again okay. okay so isotropic radiator generally considers an reference antenna in wireless system radiates power with the unit unit unity gain informally in all direction and it is known as the isotropic antenna also one more uh, terminology is there that is the effective isotropic radiated power the amount of power that is theoretical um, isotropic antenna emits to produce the peak power density in the direction of the maximum antenna gain that is known as the effective isotropic radiated power and it can be calculated as power of the uh, power transmitted by the transmitting antenna into the gain of the transmitting antenna antenna gain are given in units of the dbi that is db uh, gain with the respect to an isotropic antenna free space path loss so 
uh, we are moving towards the calculating the path loss is defined as the difference in dB between the effective transmitted power and the received power that is nothing but the path loss. So, pre phase path loss is defined as the path loss of the uh, pre spread module that is PL in dB can be calculated as the uh, 10 log PT divided by PR okay? and it can be written as minus 10 log zt gr lambda square divided by 4 pi square uh, d square. So, it is gives us the information about the path loss in db. Freeze equation holds when the distance d is in the far field uh, of the transmitting antenna. As we know that means antenna has the far field and near field. The far field and uh, far field or the Fraunhofer's region of the transmitting antenna is defined as the region beyond the far field distance df is given by df is equal to 2d square by lambda, where d is the largest physical dimension of the antenna. Additionally, df is very, very greater than the small d and, uh, and uh, df is very, very greater than the lambda also. That is, um, df is the far field uh, region where the start the far field region of the antenna and it depends on the wavelength of the signal and the size of the antenna. Now, reference distance d naught we have to keep in mind for calculation of the path loss and uh, um, we are taking the measurements of the receiving transmitting antenna. So, free space equation does not hold d is equal to 0, d is equal to 0 does not have any meaning and that is why it does not hold the um, d is equal to 0. Received power reference point d naught is used and it is in between the df that is a far field um, a boundary of the antenna and d that is the distance of the trans uh, receiving antenna from the transmitting antenna. It is in between the d naught. Um, d naught should be smaller than the practical distance as the mobile system uses. The power issued in free space at a distance greater than d naught is PR of d is equal to PR at d naught divided by d naught by d uh, rest to get, where df is less than or equal to d naught is less than or equal to d. The reference distance d naught for the practical systems for the frequencies in the range 1 to 2 gigahertz 1 meter for the indoor range indoor um, uh, environment and the 100 meter to 1 kilometer in case of the outdoor, outdoor environment. Now, this is about the free space loss we have uh, discussed about and free space loss uh, is completely depends on the free, uh, free formula. Okay, uh, and different parts of the freeze formula also taken into consideration. Now, I will uh, see the radio mechanism, radio propagation mechanism. So, different parts of the radio propagation mechanism are there. In case of the environment, the different things are there. Uh, if we take the urban areas, that is the homes are there, buildings are there, um, uh, we can say the factories are there, traveling um, uh, vehicles are there and many more things are there. So, uh, how the signal propagates from the transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna? It is through the uh, reflection, diffraction and the reflect, uh, refraction. So, these are the uh, different uh, paths through which the signal uh, can travel from the transmitting antenna to the uh, receiving antenna. So, here they have shown that is the um, reflection uh, in the environmental we can say the dust diffraction is there also because of the dust uh, in the environment um, uh, reflection from the houses, reflection from the factories, reflection from the buildings, scattering from the different objects, reflection from the house. So, these are the uh, different things they have they have shown in this particular uh, 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 slide. Radio propagation mechanism contains the transmission of the signal from the transmitter to the receiver. It depends on the completely medium. What type of the medium it is? Reflection depends on the uh, water type of the surface is there. Refraction two different we can say mediums are there and the propagation through two different uh, mediums uh, is uh, nothing but the refraction. Diffraction is nothing but the um, 
signal at uh, when impinging on the another we can say the uh, medium then uh, what happens to that particular signal so it, it is the diffraction absorption in case of the uh, uh, sum of the medium signal is get absorbed and the scattering is nothing but one particular point is there and that particular point the signal is impinging and the it scatters in all the we can say uh, omnidirectional of that particular point so uh, in today's uh, video, this is the uh, thing.